Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my channel. So today I'm going to teach you how to install and how to do some basic configuration of a Squid Proxy Server. And I don't intend to discourage you, but if you want to learn some basic things about Squid Proxy, that's not a complicated task. But if you want to become master, you will have to invest a lot of time into it. So first thing now, I'm just going to uh, install uh, Squid Proxy. And uh, for this episode, I'm using my local machine uh, with uh, Ubuntu server on it. So I'm going to use command sudo apt install squid. All right, awesome. So now I'm going to use command systemctl to check for status of squid and my squid server it's up and running. Uh, so now first thing what we are going to do, we are going to use a nano to edit Etsy squid squid.conf. And this is absolutely huge file. You have a tons of different options that you can deal with. But first that we are going to look for uh, with uh, control W it's HTTP port. I'm going to look for it where is defined. Uh, it, it's here. So uh, if we want to use uh, Squid Proxy, we will have to use it through port uh, 3128. This is a default port. So in order to use this proxy, you can do it on level of entire operating system. But for this purpose, I'm just going to uh, configure uh, my uh, Firefox web browser. So go into settings of your web browser and look for proxy settings. And in here check uh, manual proxy configuration. So I'm going to provide IP address of uh, my local machine. So it's 26 and we are going to use uh, port. What is number 3128. So number it's 3128. All right. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to open new tab and in here I'm going to navigate to let's say github github.com and you see my proxy won't allow me that all right now let's deal with configuration go up Okay, we are going to check uh, this configuration too. Uh, so what's about uh, these blue lines and these uh, gray lines? Line that starts uh, with hashtag, uh, it's considered to be commented or ignored if you will. Uh, these uh, gray lines are what is used in uh, your configuration. So first I want to describe this part. So what is this? Uh, with ACL. ACL stands for access control list. We are going to create kind of variables and immediately after ACL we are going to give name to that variable. So our variable in this case it's local net and third element it's actual type. So type it's a source and fourth element it's argument and in here uh, we have a range of IP addresses. And what about this multiple line uh, with uh, same local net variable? Means that all of these addresses are included in a local net. For example, in here, uh, we are creating variable SSL ports. And whenever later on we are going to talk about this variable, we are actually talking about port 443. With save ports variable, we are uh, talking about all of these ports, 80, 21, 443, 70, and so on. And uh, down here, I'm going to show you how to use these variables. So uh, what we have in here as options, what this actually means. Uh, with HTTP access, we are uh, telling uh, that we are talking about HTTP access. Uh, this second option it's directive. So what we are going to do about HTTP access, we are going to deny it. And third word, uh, what it says, not safe port. Uh, this uh, exclamation mark uh, means not. So with this line, we are denying access to everybody who is uh, not connected through safe ports. 
or what is defined previously as safe ports. So I am going to comment this line. Uh, with this line, HTTP access, deny, connect, not SSL ports. So what we are saying, we are uh, saying that we are denying connection for every user who, are, who is not accessing our proxy server through SSL ports. So I'm going to comment this too. These two lines are okay. So we are allowing access to local host manager and then we are denying access to manager. Uh, in here, HTTP access allow local host. Okay, but I'm not accessing through local host because uh, I am uh, using this server through SSH. Now, uh, HTTP access denied to local host. I am going to comment this. HTTP access denied to a linked local. I am going to comment this too. Okay, we also could have uh, multiple files for configuration. In here, it says that we are including uh, document Etsy squid uh, conf d and everything that has conf extension. And in this line, we are denying access to all. So I am going to comment this line too. And now, now we are going to allow access uh, to my machine to access through this squid proxy server. How I'm going to do that? I'm going to use this local net variable. Why? Because I'm accessing from my local network. And how I'm going to use this variable, let me show you. I'm just going to copy this local net. All right. Some space, okay. In here, it's totally fine. So I'm going to say HTTP access allow to local net. And that's basically it. I'm going to write this out, I'm going to exit, and we need to restart squid service. All right, I'm going to open my uh, Mozilla Firefox web browser, and I'm going to try to navigate to GitHub once again. Okay, what is this? Not what I expected. Let's try to... I misspell it. <laughs> All right, now we are on GitHub. So everything works perfectly. But now for this episode, let me show you something interesting, what you can do with configuration. So I'm going to clear my screen and I'm going to navigate to Etsy uh, squidsquid.conf once again. Now I'm going to show you how to reject access to certain websites. I'm going to define some variable in here. So access control list blocked sites and now type it's DST domain means destination domain. And I'm going to type Facebook dot com i have nothing against facebook this is, this is just for educational purposes okay and i'm going to do one more block site dst domain let's go with instagram.com once again nothing against instagram okay and down here uh but i i forgot something uh, cannot be like facebook.com. We need to put dot in front. Okay, now it's going to work. Okay, now let's go down here. Now what is important? We have to uh, set a deny option uh, before we allow local net. So I'm going to do HTTP assess deny 
blocked sites. Okay, I'm going to write this out. Okay, and I'm going to restart Squid. All right, let's see with Firefox. Now, we if I try to refresh this uh, GitHub, okay, it's fine. But if I try to go to Facebook.com, nope, not going to happen. Instagram dot com not going to happen also but let's try with google google.com everything works perfectly so guys uh, that's all for this first episode about uh, squid uh, proxy server i hope that you learned something new something interesting so please like subscribe and see ya